How do you receive a revelation from God. Well, first we have to understand what a revelation actually is biblically. A revelation is an uncovering, a bringing to light of that which has been previously hidden or obscurely seen. The secret to receiving a revelation from God is actually found in his written word. Turn with me to Psalms chapter 46 verse 10 in the King James Version. Be still and know that I am God. It sounds so simple, but many overlook the different dimensions of this one scripture. While in a sense, most people take this as God telling us not to worry or have fear in difficult situations, few see it in its literal sense. If we go to our quiet place, literally be still, relax, and wait patiently on God to speak, you will hear him. You will receive a revelation from God. And hearing God may not always be in an audible sense. God speaks to us in a majority of ways. Visions, dreams, small still voice, loud audible voice, nature, our five senses, etc. So while you're in your quiet place waiting on the Lord, keep this in mind. So how do you prepare to receive a revelation from God? Number one, repent. Make sure your eye gates and ear gates are clear so that you are able to accurately hear the Lord. If your eye gates and ear gates are clogged from watching too much secular television or listening to secular music, I would suggest fasting first before you start this process. Number two, find a quiet place away from distractions and interruptions. For some, that may be the prayer closet. For others, that may be the shower or the bedroom. Find out what works best for you. Number three, once you're in your quiet place, invite the Lord into this quiet place with you. Now it's just you and him. And before, now, without any distractions and interruptions, close your eyes and relax. Keep your body relaxed, loose, and slow your breathing. Don't concentrate your thoughts on anything specific. Let your thoughts flow freely. If God decides to get you a revelation in the form of a vision, you want to make sure the Holy Spirit flows freely in your mind. If you happen to fall asleep, that's okay. Oftentimes, the Holy Spirit will lead you into sleep if the Lord wants to reveal something to you in a dream. If he decides to reveal something to you while speaking to you, be sure to keep a mental note of what he's spoken to you. Sometimes it may take a while before you hear something from God, and that's okay. Just be comfortable and be in expectation that you will hear from our Heavenly Father. Sometimes the Lord may reveal something to you that you didn't necessarily intend to seek out. That's okay too. Best believe that there's a reason he needed you to know that. And when you feel as if you've gotten the revelation the Lord wanted to share with you, be sure to write down everything you've experienced and test it with the written word of God. If it lines up, congratulations. You've just received a revelation from our Heavenly Father. The more you go to your quiet place with God, the more you go to your quiet place with Jesus, the faster and more frequently you'll be able to access him and the revelations he wishes to show you. I want you guys to turn with me to Proverbs chapter 25 verse 2 in the New Living Translation. It is God's privilege to conceal things and the king's privilege to discover them. Guys, the reason God keeps certain things hidden or he holds revelations from us is not just because he wants to keep it to himself. He wants us to seek him. He wants us to chase after him, to wrestle with him as Jacob did, to, to, to get closer to him. He's not keeping it away from us so that he can separate from us. He keeps revelations from us so that we can draw closer to him, to seek the revelations he wants to share with us, guys. So keep that in mind. And if you do these steps, if you find your quiet place and invite the Lord, you will receive a revelation from God. If you receive something from this today, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time.